from Loitering in Wonderland Studios. <laughs> With Phoenix West. Hello, citizens. I'm Phoenix West. Welcome to Things That Will Burn in Hell. Today's episode is a very special one. This is football season right now, after all. Depending on where this episode airs, I don't know. It was football season recently, and it will be again soon. It happens every fucking year. Can we just can we just move on here? I don't care about the timing. I don't care when you're watching this. It's always some sort of football season going on. Indoor football league, does that still exist? Whatever happened to that WWF slash football thing that lasted like one season and lost a shit ton of money? Wasn't that a great idea? Very off topic. Anyway, today's episode is going to be number 12, full body painting. If you want to paint your face at a football game, then go right ahead. It's going to burn like hell when you take it off and your face will be red for three days after, but go right ahead. You're an asshole, but I'm not going to stop you. I draw the line when people paint their entire bodies blue and silver or yellow and black or whatever colors your shitty football team is. It's just plain unnecessary. It's like they're trying to win at some shitty modern art festival. The whole world doesn't need to see you in a curly wig and your big yellow and green hairy gut hanging over your shorts. We get it. You like the Packers. Everyone here assumes that. That's why you bought the tickets. Everyone at this particular game is also here to watch the Packers play. We assume nobody's driving a thousand miles to see the Raiders play in Wisconsin. So with this being said, do you really have to prove that you are in fact a Packers fan? All you're doing by painting your face and body and waving your beer and yelling PACKERS nonstop is proving that you're an asshole. Paint is clearly not meant to cover such a large portion of the human body. Paint is typically made for homes, businesses, and children in kindergarten. You like the team? That's super. Put on a shirt and shut the fuck up. You can cheer when something happens, but when it's halftime, you need to not be cheering for the team. They're not going to skip halftime just for one enthusiastic fan. Even if they could do that, they're in the locker room and can't hear you. I'm sure you're excited for their big win, but we're all aware that you only like the team so much because you wanted to play football when you were in high school but didn't have the GPA to get into college because you're a complete fucking moron. Put a shirt on, take off the wig, and just go home and watch the game on TV. You can paint yourself and yell all you want, but remember to love your family and don't do this in front of your kids. Using pictures from college and pro football, I made the following message for people who paint their whole bodies for games. It's it's right there. That's the same thing you were just looking at. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? It's like it was in the book or something. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, this one... I don't really see that much anymore. I feel like, I, and I live in Arizona, I don't go to football games ever. I, I mostly go to hockey or basketball or baseball. Football games, I don't like seeing football live. People are horrible, horrible pieces of shit to each other there. They almost want to murder each other. I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy that at all. I don't, I don't get the point of that. Just go to war. We have an army for that if you want to go fuck some people up. If that's your goal in life is to fuck people up, hey, join the army. Get on over there. Go fuck some people up. All the brown people you can kill, probably. That's kind of cliche, right? I went to one professional football game. Nobody painted themselves. It's in Arizona. I think it would just bake under the sun and you have a permanent fucking mark there. I don't think it's a good idea. It's really stupid. You look ridiculous. I'm all for your team and cheering and stuff. I I like when the ladies have all the beads and stuff. Not Mardi Gras, not showing their tits. I do not want to see these fat ladies' tits at a football game. They're never hot when they they dress up like this with the curly wig and the headband around it. And then they have the the beads and they have the, or the fucking cheese head or whatever the fuck they wear. And they have all the the colors and stuff and they're all dancing and woo! Uh, I I, I like that. I don't want to see your tits. I hope you didn't earn those beads. I hope they were, you just bought them at a store. I don't think stores. I don't think like Party City does a, a tit exchange. I think it's mostly cash currency. Uh, I don't know if they have a nipple policy. Uh, uh, nobody wants to see your tits. Go ahead and keep your shirt on. And guys, go ahead and keep your shirt on too. I don't want to see your tits either. You have tits. You're a fan of the Packers. You're a fan of the Bears. You have tits, sir. Big hairy tits. I, I like big tits. I don't like hairy tits. Those are not a good mix. Uh, even on a woman, hairy tits would be very freaky. Go ahead and keep your shirt on, sir. Sure as shit, don't paint yourself. I don't want to see it. I don't want to, even if all your douchebag friends are in a row, and I have a P and you have an A, and you, and the, I'm going to put my P in your A, um, and then C's over there next to him. We'll put the P and the C and the A, and we'll pack it in there, Packers, and I'll bring fudge, and... This whole thing's gone very far off the rails. I don't know what to talk about anymore. Uh, 
uh, buy some paint and then put an L and then have your friend get an I and another friend get a W and then a bunch of other friends so it spells out LAW Studios and go to that dot com LAW Studios dot com go there look at all the shows we have on there and then YouTube dot com slash Lloyd Wonderland I don't advise you painting that at one letter at a time take forever a lot of friends and you don't have that many friends I sure shit don't until next time and in the meantime I'm Phoenix West I'll see you in hell you full body painting son of a bitch citizens Fucking weird. This is weird. Don't do it. If you go to hell, would you have a H and then your buddy would have an E and then the last one would have double hockey sticks on there? Because <laughs> it's sports. It works. <laughs>